There are so many modifiers in viz, and even more in max, that we need to have some scheme to categorize them. They've been grouped into what we call modifier sets, and the modifiers menu reveals that organizational scheme. You can also display modifier sets by clicking this button. You'll see those same sets here in this list. In order to take advantage of these sets, you need to choose Show Buttons. And that reveals a grouping of buttons here sandwiched in between the modifier list and the stack. This is just a convenience so that you can access some of the modifiers that you use frequently. You can also access them from the modifier list. You can toggle between different modifier sets like this. Just choose a set name and all of the buttons that belong to that will show up here. Now I don't have very much room to work. I might need to drag the command panel over into multiple columns if I'm going to get any work done. Either that or don't show the buttons or perhaps reduce the number of buttons in the set. You can do that by going to Configure Modifier Sets. And then you have the set list here. We're looking at the parametric modifiers, but we can display any one of the sets. And then let's say we want to make our own custom set. I'll go up here and type in my own custom name. I'll call it Test and then I'll click Save. That adds a new set to the list. You can set the number of buttons that you want over here. Let's say that I want four. And I'll drag these out and drop them on the list. Then I can just go through this list of modifiers and take out some modifiers that I like to use a lot. And just drag them onto the blank buttons. I'll go back up here and type in the name again and click Save just to be sure that I have that recorded. I'll click OK and now we have a custom modifier set. Extrude is grayed out because we don't have the right type of object selected but I could quickly apply a twist modifier just by clicking this button. I don't need to hunt for it in the massive modifier list.